risk versus caution. How do I walk that tightrope or how should you walk that tightrope? It's a very good question uh, and it's a balance that's very difficult, I think, to strike. I think the answer depends very much on, on what is your temperament and where are you in life. But I do think there's certain factors that can probably make you more confident to be a risk taker. I mean, I look back at my early days, you know, in, in my 20s, I would take extraordinary risks. And I think I did that probably because I thought I was invincible. And I guess I only thought I was invincible because I had never really had a downfall. Now, you know, when I was, you know, 27, 28 years old, having risen very high, having made a lot of money, I lost it all pretty much overnight. You know, my my invincible attitude, you know, had ultimately led me to build a business on a, on a bed of sand. It was a deck of cards that, you know, ultimately collapsed and I lost everything pretty much overnight. But when I started up again the second time round, what I learned very quickly was it was much easier for me to build second time round than it was first time because I already had knowledge, I already had skill sets that I didn't have from five years ago. So I guess what, what that has done is taught me that, that I can have a skill set that will give me the confidence to be able to take risks, if that makes sense. Now I'm older, I guess I, I'm acutely aware of the fact I don't have as many years left in me as I had 20 years ago. So I might not take some of the super wild risks that I would have taken back then. I guess, you know, back 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 in my 20s, I was not afraid to lose everything because I probably didn't have that much to lose. You know, now I'm in my early 40s. I don't think I want to lose everything I've got now. I'm not saying I'm not prepared to lose a lot of it. And I am. I'm always prepared to take risks. I'm always prepared to go backwards before I go forwards. But, uh, you know, I don't want to lose everything. So I think as you as you build more wealth, you can then take a personal view of, of how much you are prepared to risk. But I think the thing for me that will always keep me relaxed at risk taking is that I know I've got the skill set to to be able to make it back if things go wrong. I'm not saying caution is a bad is a bad thing. I think you need to have a nice balance of caution with risk. And sometimes it's very really difficult for an individual to be simultaneously, you know, a risk taker and somebody who's who's good with caution and that's why often it's good to have whether that's a business partner whether it's a mentor a sounding board a, you know a team of directors who can maybe bring bring different viewpoints to things but i think ultimately as an entrepreneur we're always going to be risk takers you know we're always going to put risk ahead of caution but that doesn't you know that doesn't mean that we need to go wild so i think you know for you guys where are you in life? That will dictate what the balance between risk and caution is. But you can't grow without taking risk. But I think the way that you'll get comfortable with that risk taking is knowing that if you do fall backwards, you can get forwards again. And the best way to have that confidence is to have money making skill sets, to have skill sets that you know can produce income for you in a time of need.